All right. First thing we want to do, we want to uh, install com on our set on, on our uh, game. You know, mission files in our game. So you want to go to com to the GitHub for com and download it. You just hit on the code, download the zip. I'll leave a link in the video description. Once you download it, save it wherever you want to save it. I have it saved in my fo files in me. Uh, in my files there it is there you want to go in into com into the missions that's where I have it downloaded you want to copy that so you would that's my phone once you copy that then you want to go into your main game wherever it's stored mine's on me on a game drive that I have you go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, down to Daisy, and then scroll down to Missions. You take that and you paste it into them, that Missions file. Once you have it in the Missions file, you go inside it. You want to scroll down now to the Daisy Community Offline Mode. .ba. I have a copy of it over here already. You want to edit it with Notepad++. You see, you want to go to the end of, of the parameter line. After true there, you want to hit on it and then give it a space. Then you want to put... I'll show you the command line. I have it, have it here. Yeah, I'll leave a link to this site too. gives you a list of your configuration, what everything is additional parameters you can put into your config files if you want to add stuff where is it? a lot of people like night time I think this has night time in it standard yeah night time acceleration it's not on the game but you can get it off this and add it in same with other stuff there like if loads of different settings that aren't normally in it what we're looking for is a uh, down here in the launch parameters you have the port, profiles, config, do logs, all the different parameters you can use and we're after that one there minus mod equals so you take you could take a copy of that from there if you wanted you go back up at where you have it paste that in Put the equals in at the start of it now you want to put it in in brackets then you want it any mod now that you want to put in you'd put it in there so you would so for instance say you wanted you did you wanted to build with different stuff that wasn't part of the normal game. You go into Steam. You want to download these. You build the items. You want to download build the items. Download that. And uh, build our statics. There you go. Build our statics. Both by not a banana. You want to download that as well. Once you have them downloaded, go back to your files. Back out of that. Steam library, Steam apps, common, Daisy again. Want to go up to the workshop? You'd want to take the name of them, copy the name, you go back now to our .bat file that you're editing, and you put the mod in there, paste it in after the equals keeping it inside the brackets 
and you want to put a semicolon in. Then you want to go back. You want to take builder statics. Do the same for it. Copy it. Go back to your notepad plus plus. Paste that in there. Then you can take a. You can take another mod, say like a. Where is it? If you wanted to put bank machines in, you could take banking. Then use them to actually spawn them into the world to get a reference for the coordinates if you wanted to do it that way when you install the banking. So like, say we just say uh, we want to do something like expansion. You'd have to take CF and Community Online Tools because they have a dependency. So you'd have to take CF and Community Online Tools and add them to your mod command line, then expansion and expansion license the way you normally would on your server. So like say we wanted to use gold nuggets, you just click on that, hit the name, copy it, you go back to your notepad plus plus where you were putting it in. After the builder statics, you want to put another semicolon and then paste in the mod you want to use, but you want to remove any spaces and that from the mod, make it all one word. Same again, and that with a semicolon, just repeat the process for all the mods you want to put in. Then on this actual folder in your uh, DayZ. I put the mods on onto there as well. Uh, you can do that easily just by. Oh, I want to open another window. Just open another window to the same Steam library, Steam apps, Common, Daisy, and Workshop. You just simply take the mods that you took that you're putting onto the server, say like builder items, you just copy it and paste it onto your server, on onto your, uh, keep saying server, you just paste it, paste it into your files, like that, we get rid of that, you just paste, paste it in, have it on your on your game side too. Just tends to work better. Right, once you do that, you I see I have I can get rid of that now. I have my own my own one already. Right now. I have my own .bat file al already edited for the mods that I use. So my mods there. The whole pile of them. That's it. Once you have them all installed on the d on the .bat file, you'd close it up and save it. Then simply, if you want to, if you want to run, com. I just want to make sure my servers are shut down. Yeah, make sure there's no confliction. The run com then just go in. Same again into your game, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Daisy mission, Daisy community offline mode, Dachinaris plus. You just go down to the bat file and you just double left click on it and it will run, run the game offline. You just wait for the game to, to load up and you'll be in common, able to build whatever you want.
All right. If you load it in with com, uh, first thing you want to do when you load in with com is hit the Y button, activate the panel. Then in there, you go to G, just like the developer says, give yourself God mode. Now you can come out of that, hit insert to go into fly mode. We'll just come over here and build something quickly. Hit Y for the menu, and the OB for objects. In there you can pick anything you wanted, like food, clothing, vehicles, buildings. Let's so go with buildings, scroll down. Try and find something decent, take a container, I'm quite fond of the containers. There's a container for us. Now you hit on the arm if you want to move it. You just tap on the item and it will automatically go to it. I already have a lot of items already on the map elsewhere. That's why the list is full. If I had nothing on the map, that would be empty and that would be the only item that you'd have. You'd be able to hit on it there, but be warned, like if I, if I tap the map anywhere, I'll be move, moving the item. Yeah, it's very easy to move the wrong item. Just want to tap on that, see I was moving something else there. You can move it just by grabbing it. But if you have items close by, you want to be careful that you don't grab the wrong item. Then over here, you've got your controls for it. So, you are X, Y, and Z. You can twist them, that's your height, Y. Side to side, back and forth. Norton. North and east, south and west. Then your yaw, so that's your rotation, whatever degrees you want, etc. And then pitch and roll. You can really do anything with it. You can put it upside down if one so wanted. Do anything with it. Pretty cool. Same again, you want to pick something else, you could go for anything. You just move over. Your controls will still move you forward and backward if you want to speed up or slow down. You'd have to come out of that. For some reason that's not shutting down there, as it usually would. You have to come out of that. If you want to speed up or slow down, you just do it with the mouse scrolling wheel. Same with hold shift, it'll move you a lot quicker. Just go anywhere you want. Travel around the map as much as you want. Go back into the arm. Hey, you've got teleport if you want to teleport somewhere. List of all the locations. You got the weather. So if you want to make it more springtime, middle of the day. Wind, overcast, rain and fog. already done god mode and I'm not quite sure what the camera is you just if you had a mod then and you applied the mods like we did we could hit BLD or for all the builder items you pick anything you wanted spawn it in same again hit the arm you want to hit on the item Manipulate it any way you wanted. Same again, pitch your roll. All there. Any 
other mods that you might have added then. Like I have a... Uh, There's an underscore there. No. Where is the... Hmm. Can't remember what mods I have on it now. <laughs> Thought I did put some vehicle mods on it. I mustn't have. There you go, the vehicles there anyway, and you can spawn a different vehicle in. A lot of them only have bits. There you go, that's how you'd use it. You'd spawn whatever you want in. Your mods are like, I have expansion in it. Go to expansion items. Oh, list of them, flags. All expansion items. What are mods? I've got MVS in it. On your MVS, so if you wanted to do something like a display stall or something. I think I put CPV in as well. No. Thought I did, but I must enough. Just hit escape. To get out of all that, let's say fly around. You can place anything you want, build it as you see fit. It's a beauty of calm. Quite like it. But I hope that video was helpful. You all get building stuff. Many thanks for watching, anybody who watches. I'll be back again with a new video. We build a trailer outpost and we put uh, our own trailers onto the map in our own personal locations. Well, thanks for watching. Take care, all.